Perfect, perfect, perfect. Everybody, it's Andre J. McClendon. Welcome to the Andre J. McClendon Show. All right, guys, this is the weekly news wrap up. I'm going to be going over a couple charts from indexes all the way down to uh, commodities to crypto. Um, at the end, the crypto, I will go over the market capitulation. You can scroll through to see some of the top 100 cryptocurrencies, but I'm going to just focus on two cryptos and not go too much in depth, just bring them up the ones that I like. And uh, you know, leave a comment below about which cryptocurrency you like to trade, what markets you like to trade and invest. But all right, guys, let's jump right into the Nasdaq. All right. So we're we're very very close. So maybe we'll exceed it and bounce down or bounce up. Let's look at the charts. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Load this up. So the website I use uh, for looking at charts, I use investing.com. Investing.com is pretty much one of my main ones that I use. And we'll start on the monthly. So you can see the previous market crashes, and now we're up to here. And we seem like we're going to hit this top. Definitely going to hit that top. It's just that we're going to see what the direction is going to either go into break through this level, do a small correction down, and then head back up to break through. I don't know, just telling you that I think the overall direction is up. I mean, I'm not a fan about these markets. I think they're manipulated and there are a bunch of fake fakery happening. But we can start figuring out what's happening to the markets. We're on the daily right now, especially from this low to this high. So you guys who are trading in stocks right now, pretty much just having some good times. But I, I think if you examine the P.E. ratios and some of the uh, uh, earnings per shares, you will exact find out that these markets or some of these uh, stocks are full of poop. You know, they're these garbage companies, but on paper they look good because their stock is higher. You know, but it's just an opinion. Our next one is S&P 500. Now, same exact thing. We'll check out the S&P 500. We look at the general before we start going into the charts. All right. So our 52 week range, uh, 52 week range, is 29444. As we're high, we are so close to that. We're definitely going to touch it. We're definitely 100% going to touch it. That's my opinion. You don't have to. Uh, I might give you trading advice and saying what I think. So, well, we're going to look at, we're gonna examine the charts. We're not going to do any type of analysis. We're not going to look at support resistance. We're just going to look at overall direction. It's pretty easy to do since this market has been straight up. And look at the uh, entirety of this uh, market since 19 uh, the early 1990s. Look at now, look at this. That's a crash of uh, 07. And look at today. So is there, has there been phony money being thrown into the markets? I think so, but this is how it is. This, I honestly think that's just gonna break through this top right here. This momentum is not gonna br stop. It may do a small correction down. And the overall direction is up. Same thing for the NASDAQ. I think the overall direction for the indices are all north. So we'll definitely check that out. Our next one will be the Dow Jones. Now, Dow Jones Industrial Average. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me give this to the general. All right, all right. So 52-week range, 26,951. We are like 500 bucks off. Super close. We're definitely going to hit it. I'll be, I'm currently trading this right now. So if it goes up or down, it doesn't matter to me. It's just that it's an easy trade. I mean, I, I think the overall direction is down. I mean, we're going to manipulate. I think we're in the biggest financial bubble ever. But for the time being, I think the market is going to be heading up. It's going to break through this triple top that's creating right now and this break around through or a small correction down repeat this up and break through just so the orders can get uh, cheaper so they can get another position in so that's the Dow it's pretty easy I mean you don't have to go super in depth into these markets and the next one is my favorite to trade so far this year has been crude oil crude oil silver and gold are my absolute favorite things to trade love trading them I know the market I know the indexes, I know their uh, ETS, I know the stocks that are mainly in there. So trading oil has been a lot of fun. So their, their 52 week range is from 42.36 to 76.9. I 
Uh, we're going to jump right into those charts. That's what I like. Break down the charts a little bit more. All right. Now, the great thing, there's no like trading oil. There's no swaps on oil. Oh, my gosh. It saves a lot of money. You don't have to worry about those expensive fees trading them. Now, I've been in oil since... <coughs> I've been in oil since down here, almost down to the 20s, and I've been buying at every single level and showing and showing the rest of the trading team how we've been able to get into these markets. This support level has been retested multiple times, and it, when it picked off, it's been taken off on a four-month bull run. So, I think it's going to be another two-month up to take out this up to the 73.39 level. This little zone right here, not this specifically line, just a zone, and and. Uh, overall, I don't, I don't think that the overall public is going to want this. They don't want higher oil prices. So there might be a, a, a bull run up but a massive correction down. So I, I'm, that's how I'm planning it out. There's a couple things I want to, you know, I'll go through if you're a client of mine. I'll show you what I'm looking at when it comes to oil because oil and other companies involved into it, who's going to be doing some big purchasing orders. Is there any going to be new contracts? It's something you got to look at about when it comes to oil. But so for the next two month prediction, I say two to three month prediction, going to be hitting the 73 level. Let's see where it goes from there. The next one is gold. Big bad gold, man. Gold's uh, 52 week range is 11.82 to almost $1,400. Now $1,400. This thing has been moving and grooving. And take and man. I mean, this, I'll say this week, oil's been kind of slow. Hasn't really moved much at all. But we're going to see where it's going to go. So let's go to the weekly, break this down a little bit. Because I, I haven't traded gold this week that much. I, I think I take one position. So like even the, like this flatness with gold for this week, last week a little bit down. I mean, it's a good scalp right now. I mean, it's already creating... A, uh, a downtrend right now but we'll see if it's gonna pop up and uh, move up from there I mean I'd say like if, if the spot markets for uh, or the future prices for uh, gold go cheaper you can get it pretty cheap for the bullion prices so you can you win from that level I mean uh, I, when you're buying on a bullion you have to buy it in a mass to get the cheaper discounts and cheaper rates so understand that so if we just look at the uh the overall trend the bigger trend look at the daily on the monthly you see that this level right here this 1348 to 1350 level has been tested so many times and basically it's been basically slapped away no no hit that level get pushed away hit that level get pushed away reattempt get pushed away but if you can tell look look, look what what is it creating let's go through right here look at this I mean, we can just. Oh, uh, uh, all right, cool beans. So, like, look at look. look uh, so, if you guys don't follow patterns, you know, for me, I do. I follow a lot of these patterns to see what's actually happening, and you can see that right, what's happening right now is that it's bouncing from this point to here to here to here. Uh, it failed. Went up double tap double test this level multiple times went back down immediately retraced up so we can see this head back down maybe to, to this point right here to the 1220s 1250 uh, I mean 1240s right here and possibly hit back up and head up higher or head down lower gold is high, highly manipulated I would know that the central banks a lot of a lot of governments do not like a higher gold price higher gold prices uh, I, I believe that gold and silver are uh, in, inflation hedges. So, and since we're using fiat currencies and they just print to the moon, you can always bet that you know, having gold and silver can be a good hedge to beat that thing. So, let's jump into it more on silver. Now, silver is, I love looking at the silver charts. Silver is, I'll say, it's expensive when it comes to trading it because of the swaps for long term trading. But, it can pay off for these big moves. So silver right now sitting at 1507, pretty good cheap price to buy on the physical. I think physical uh, minimum spot price, uh, uh, minimum for like one troy ounce for like a, a common uh, bullion is going to run you like 1648, 1650. Not too bad. So 
So we're going to kick it to the daily. I don't need to go to the monthly. Monthly is pretty. I've done that enough times. So right now, this is like one of my best places to buy that I've been buying physically ETFs and when it comes to a spot market. And just hitting this area because when I tell people like uh, when you're trading, you want uh, when, you're, when you're trading, you can get a, a passive cash flow from the, the uh, dividends. And also you can get a, a capital gains from it too. So you can hit it from both directions. Right now, for the last couple days, like it's been consolidating. It's been doing this whipsaws, like use some jacked up dojis, jacked up Josie, jacked up jo uh, dojis right here. And it is respecting this right here, this line right here. You can sell like this resist, this resistance levels, this support level now screen, uh, pretty long support. So I don't know where it's gonna go. I, I'm hedging on both ways, so if it goes up, it's a win for me. If it goes down, to make it cheaper, so I can buy into the more into precious metals. I do like cheap. Cheaper it makes it better for me, and it makes it better off for the long overall trend. But if it goes up, oh, I mean, you can definitely see. I, I would say silver will head back to the 15s or 16s, the low 16s, and get basically slapped back down to a lower price. No, uh, the central banks, governments, they, they do not desire a high gold, high oil, or high uh, silver price. It, it doesn't do any benefit. Alright, so our next one we're going to jump right into is Bitcoin Monster. This thing has been moving and grooving, taking names, and not stopping, man. So, let's look at the 52 week range. So, right now, the 52 week high is basically $10,000, so a low of $32,16. Alright, let's break it out. So, we looked at our range. So if you're if you're a hot if you're there's different trading strategies when it comes to uh, Bitcoin. Some people hodl, they just keep on buying at certain levels and just hold on for dear life. We look at the monthly. I know it's pretty short. Comes out to like pretty much 2011, 2012 ish. But look at this move up. Massive buying's been happening here. Massive buying for three months straight. Let's zoom into the weekly. All right, all right. I like these consolidation periods. This is where all the buying's been taking, taking small amounts of buying, small amounts of buying, small amounts of buying to slow down the market. Because these shorts and the shorts and buys are basically fighting against each other. And this slows down, flattens out, and then massive moving up, sell off, massive buying, massive buying, massive buying, and boom. And this is where it's been hitting a lot of the public, and the public always are always late to the party you know so the sins are late to the party they're can they're can start their buying period now buying and it's definitely at this trend right now you'll see Bitcoin out easily at six at six thousand five hundred and that's my prediction I mean I'm not trading Bitcoin I'm the only thing I get exposure to Bitcoin is in the mining accounts but that's not really a big deal it's not like a lot so I'm not really in this trade I don't want to be in this trade uh, I like like cryptocurrency just I don't like how it doesn't respect some of the levels and follow my patterns. So, uh, you can trade cri crypto. I hope you have a lot of good luck with it. It's just not my cup of tea. But our next one is Litecoin. Now, Litecoin has been the bigger monster. Bitcoin has been moving, but percentage wise, Litecoin has been doing, I think, way better. So, let's jump into the charts. We do not need to go to the monthly, we just need to go to the daily. And you'll, because I, I made previous videos about this or my expectations or my thoughts were going to be on crypto I mean not crypto, Litecoin oh it almost hit a hundred bucks holy crap so let's go to the daily so this is where I did buy I did buy down here but I did not I thought it was going to go much lower but you can see how much massive buying has been right here so all these points up so I tell you like what do you want to, if you're buying within this, the direction uh, a bullish direction right you want to buy within the trend so, for example, just say you buy at a bad time. You say you buy up here, or you buy right here. If you know the direction, and you can look at the chart, and you can tell if it's going up or down, and you, all you have to do is wait a couple days, and you'll be back to break even and to take out another trade. So, if the trade is going up, like buying here, will this be the best option? For me, if I was going to buy into the market, I would wait for a pullback before re-entering. And if there's no pullback, I just don't get in. But that's just me. 
Uh, if you want to trade uh, Litecoin, go ahead. I mean, there's, there's a couple good brokerages for that. Just uh, PM me or hit me up on the uh, YouTube chat, and uh, I can give you some recommendations of what brokers to get into. But our next thing we want to do go to is the cryptocurrency cap market. Now, right now, Bitcoin is number one. It's been number one forever, and it's big. It's at 88 bill. Woo! Litecoin 5.6 billion, Bitcoin Cash 5.4. So this was talking about before. I really wanted to go over some cryptocurrencies that I like. My favorite ones is Litecoin number one. I like Steam. Control F S T E E M. So Steam right now is 156 million. Now if you, uh, I made a video earlier called Hot Five Ways to Make More Money. Uh, if you watch it, I call it that you use a Steam uh, website called Steam it. Basically, it's like a social media website where you can make money. Um, making posts and comments and stuff, and this is their cryptocurrency. This is their cryptocurrency called. It's called Steam. All right, and where is it? At? Is there anyone else I can think of top of head? Now that's about it. So those are the two that I really like. I mean, obviously I've used Bitcoin, but I mainly when it comes to transactions for moving money from account to account, and they use, I, I either use Litecoin. It's, it's more stable in my opinion, and I, the transaction fees are like two dollars for me two or three dollars it's not that bad all right guys so that is it that's the weekly news wrap up thank you guys for um, hanging in this far hope you guys ma uh, made it this far to learn some more about the markets uh, I tell you guys if you stay in on the markets are listening to more uh, listening to more videos watch more things about these things you'll be able to master your skill become a better master of trading so you can slowly replace whatever income you're currently at to become a primarily a full-time trader a full-time investor and actually take uh, action on these big moves and uh, if you guys want to uh, also contact me you can go to my website andrejmcclinton.com or hit me up on social media so we'll start the conversation guys thank you for making it to the end and have a beautiful weekend thank you